Good day to you all. Kentucky Gamer here. Let's check out a few mods that dropped out today. Nothing extra special, but a few things is, <laughs> well, just kind of interesting. We will check them all out one at a time and see what we think of them. Right here we have the Unicart 3000. Now, it is costly at $4,000. But now the interesting thing in this one is you can find different sizes of them. You can change the length for your small, your medium, and your large headers. Can't change the color or anything like that. But it seems to work all right. It will use up uh, three slots. Um, you can carry a header on them anywhere from five to nine meters. And I have tried it out. It seems to work just fine. I put the largest header I could on it. It seems to attach real well. Actually, we'll do a real good test, see if it does fall off. See how it maneuvers around, see if we can shake it off. Can't shake it off at 32 miles an hour, well then you ain't going to shake it off, that's the way I look at it. But as you can see, it seems to be doing pretty good. Yep, I believe it's there to stay. I believe everybody would agree with that. So yeah, nice looking mod. Happy with it. We also received a weight pack today. A concrete weight pack. And also a traditional weight pack. Of course, we'll find these under weights, and there's different variants of them, and kind of interesting. Normally, a big rock you can't do nothing with, but they did manage to do it here. Uh, you can get it in the fine concrete, the coarse concrete, and rusty metal look. Now, that's pretty interesting. Now, the clink front loader is what I'm having to use to hook it up to the front loaders. Your other option is just regular front loader. And I didn't have one available, so I had to use it clean. But it does work good, does as it should. I, it seems to supply a little bit of weight. Um, this here, it'll run you 11 slots. And yeah, not bad, 11 slots, $750. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. The other weight you have. At 750 kilograms it will run you six slots for a thousand dollars now you can change all your color variations yeah makes it interesting you have different designs just to help everybody out on whatever they want to attach it to but overall yeah very nice looking mods. Now, it looks to me like there's also a front hitch on this, and I would have to try that out to see if it works. You will find that in weights, of course. Now, we do have a couple of sheds out, too. Very interesting sheds, actually. The first one is a Hungarian shed with a workshop trigger. Now, that's very unique I did not check see if it had lights but I don't think it does from the looks of things it don't but you have your own workshop truck uh, trigger plus a uh, small storage area that's always nice to have now this you will find hit where did I find hit I think I found hidden sheds. Nope, I did not. 
miscellaneous. That's got to be it. There it went by. There it is, Hungarian Workshop. Hmm, $15,000. And it will run you 22 slots. Yeah, placeable miscellaneous is where you will find hit. And hit is actually, yeah, pretty cool. We need to add in a fuel pump and we just have it made right there. Now the other one is a storage shed. Uh, put out by Lancy Boy, by the way. It cost $80,000. It will take up six slots. And this in here you do find hidden under sheds. You have multiple doors around it. Very well detailed and everything. It does have its lights. The doors open great. One at a time. Very nice. And, huh, looky here. We now have us a John Deere golf cart. That's what everybody needs. Now nah, I just painted it John Deere color.